Hey everyone, so in another hyperbolic op-ed on CNN.com, the U.S. is yet again being painted as the land where gun violence is widespread and a thing of everyday life. And actually, this article starts off with one true decent point, which is that the U.S. does jail a far greater percentage of its population than any other country. Now just for the record, this is true, and it's because of unbelievably stupid laws that both Republicans and Democratic politicians support. I just want to put that out there for the people. Both major parties are severely lacking in their support of true liberty, but we all knew that, right? Anyway, now that that's out of the way. This article also goes on to state that you are 2,000 times more likely to be shot by another person than to be killed by a jihadist terrorist. Okay, this could also um, very well be true, despite the fact that jihadism is a dangerous philosophy that looks to kill innocent people, I don't spend my days worried about it, and despite what people tell the polls, I don't think most people spend much of their day worried about it either. Jihadism has to be overtaken through a battle of ideas, as the bombs haven't worked and makes the situation worse when mistakes are made and innocent people are killed, thus fueling the recruitment for these psychos, but that's another discussion. What I point out is the claim that you are 2,000 times more likely to be killed by a gun than a terrorist attack. This could very well be true, but that's because we're dealing with extraordinarily small numbers. There are two numbers that need to always be considered when talking about this. The fact that there are 320 plus million people in this country, and there are about 4 million square miles within the country. So these raw numbers on gun violence aren't that big considering those facts. The exasperated claim of impending doom are slightly on the exaggerated side. One other thing to consider, we have far more densely populated cities in the U.S. Now, not to get into why violent fatal crimes tend to be more frequent in big cities, that's a much larger discussion, but there is huge amounts of evidence that shows this is the case. Homicides and gun violence tend to be higher overall per 100,000 citizens than smaller cities or towns, and considering the U.S. has far more large cities than European countries, I think it's a fair point. Also, let's not forget that, as I've said in other videos, we border Mexico, a near narco state. By our own doing, by the way, it's the U.S. exported war on drugs that has caused that. Um, this certainly adds to the gun violence in the U.S. I just want to point out these things because I didn't see it in the article and I think they're important factors to consider. Also, this article provides a little caveat and mentions some of the gun violence in Europe as real, yet an exception to the rule. And to this, I agree. It is an exception to the rule. But for the love of God, it's the exception to the rule in the U.S. as well. Gun violence is not rampant. The vast majority of people in the U.S. will lead their lives having never been shot at, let alone actually shot. The vast, vast majority of people in the U.S. will probably never be in the same room as someone who has a fresh bullet wound. Yet it's articles filled with hysteria like this one that would make you think otherwise. Anyway, that's all for now. Thanks.